from Washington. It's Friday, May 3rd, and I'm John Walsh. Tonight, we target gang violence. Prosecutors say it's spreading like a plague. Street gangs are turning our neighborhoods into battlefields, our teenagers into drug addicts, and our children into moving targets. But you can do something about it by helping take seven accused gang members off the street. Police say three of them are from a powerful new element, Vietnamese gangs. Here's their M.O. They turn up in any town where they can shake someone down easily meaning other Asian immigrants, people who usually don't go to the cops because they don't trust them. So these gang crimes have grown into big business, and the bloodshed comes when rival gangs fight for control of the streets. Throughout the 80s, one gang ruled Boston's Chinatown, the Ping Ons. Police say gambling, drugs, prostitution, and extortion were the name of the game for the Ping Ons. But with just one gang in control, there was little violence on the streets. The gang provided Chinatown with security from other mobs, so residents tolerated their criminal enterprises. In 1989, police investigations uncovered the Ping An's activities. Detectives arrested their leader, Stephen Say. Well, after Stephen Say was incarcerated, uh, he had enormous legal problems in required him or made him leave the country. Uh, what that created was a vacuum uh, in the Ping On gang. In other words, their leader had left. What we noticed then is that there were two rival Vietnamese gangs vying for power to take over where Stephen Say had left. January 12, 1990. One of those rival gang leaders, Hunk Sook, and his associates, Toothless Wah and Johnny, showed up at a Chinatown strip joint to settle a dispute. David Lamb was a former gang member, but he'd struck out on his own to form a new gang. Police say he'd also double-crossed Hunk Soup. Sit down, stay a while. We've got important matters to discuss. No problem, huh? Sook and his gang were out to collect money they claim he stole in a drug deal. What 今晚,你一定要把錢給我。I hear he is going to open his own gambling bar. Yeah, I know. It's a good investment. They say the house always wins. should be paying me. Who has the contact? Huh? You, you me. Did, Who has the connection? You got him. Me. What's the What's the fault? I'm going to the club for a while, huh? All right. Hey, I'll catch you later. Huh? Oh. It was 2 a.m., but the gambling club on Tyler Street was still open. Lamb spent the rest of the evening there, playing Paigu, popular Chinatown game. Witnesses 
witnesses say Toothless Wash showed up at the club to deliver a final warning to Lamb. Got our money? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of a game? I told you before, I owe you no money, Tai Tai. You owe us. You must pay back now. Wanna, wanna? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Your funeral, you are stupid boy. shooting spree left five men dead. Six men survived, and he gave police the names of the three attackers. Now they're charged with murder. Boston police say Hong Team Pham, known as Hung Sook, or Pretty Boy, is the ringleader of a gang of almost 200 men. He walks in short, quick steps, always looking over his shoulder. Police say he speaks broken English. Sook likes to drive Mitsubishis and drink expensive cognac like Remy Martin or Cravassier. If you run across Hong Team Pham, also known as Hung Sook, call us at 1-800-CRIME-91. Police say accomplice Sheen Van Tram is known in the gang as Toothless Wa. He's the only one in the group with a mustache. Wa smokes Marlboros and drives around in rented cars. If you know anything about Sheen Van Tram, alias Toothless Wa, pick up the phone. Our number is 1-800-CRIME-91. Nam Te Tam is also charged with the killings in that Chinatown social club. He's nicknamed Johnny. Like the other accused killers, he always pays in cash. If you've seen Nam Te Tom, a.k.a. Johnny, give us a call at 1-800-CRIME-91. Police say all three fugitives probably are hiding in an Asian community. If you've seen them, don't hesitate to call us. We have an operator who speaks Vietnamese standing by. And remember, you don't have to tell us your night. Armed guards, barbed wire, and thick prison walls couldn't hold them. Join us for a special on incredible prison escapes. I'm John Walsh. Good night from Washington. This is Sally Kirkman. We think of home as being a place that's safe. But for one family, an unseen enemy turned their house into a living nightmare. My new movie, The Haunted, tells their true story. It's frightening because it really happened. Fox Night at the Movies presents the world premiere of The Haunted this Monday. Now, stay tuned for DEA Special Task Force, next.